Salford's four-game unbeaten run looks like it's come too late for a League Two playoff push, but the Amis have caught the eye off the field this week for the acquisition of former Manchester United man Darren Gibson. This game does come too soon for him, but another former United boy, James Wilson, is primed for his debut off the bench. Visitors Crawley are just one point in two places behind Salford, and one of the league's great entertainers. John Yen's free scoring side just cannot buy a win on the road. No win in 12 now on their travels. Is this the day they end that unwanted run? A positive start from Salford City. Just one win in eight at home, though. There's Andrade testing the goalkeeper early on at the Peninsula Stadium. It's Burgess. That's a decent looking delivery. That was towards Elliot. And what's the save from Glenn Morris? Taking short to Hunter. Hunter, that's a decent delivery and coming in at the near post. It was a really good chance. It was Michael O'Connor. Credit here must go to Ashley Hunter. And a really, really good delivery. There's O'Connor. He's been busy, as is this man, Andrade. And bringing in uh, Scott Wiseman. It's a really deep cross. <laughs> safely out. Hunter was attacking it. And now an opportunity for Ollie Palmer. First time he's touched the ball. And it's a really weak finish. You'd expect better from one of League Two's top scorers. Here's Andrade again. Wiseman outside him, goes on his own. Really struggling to get this away. Now is Ibu Torre, the Gambian. He's got four league goals this season. It's a decent delivery as well. He's in towards Tom Elliott. He's got the equaliser against Port Vale. And Salford definitely been the better side. Crawley have barely shown anything. Just that one Ollie Palmer chance. And they've had to show for their afternoon efforts. And a free kick. And straight down the throat of Morris this time. Crawley are unbeaten in three League Two matches. They've only lost one in nine. Heavy goal scorers, 44 this season, but on the back foot throughout this game. Wicked cross. There's Elliot with a layoff. Oh, and more trouble for Crawley at the back. Scott Wiseman with a throw in. Now Andrade plays it into midfield. And then the hit from Hunter. And it's a good stop again from Morris, who has been really busy this afternoon. And Phil Neville is in the stands watching. Trafford just a few miles down the road. Here's Toure. Here's Hunter again, goes for goal. Double rally away again. Oh, there's a coming together. This is uh, David Cisse. And Rooney. Cisse. He's been cautioned. Crawley really have struggled this afternoon. Very positive for them. They're heading towards a first clean sheet in nine League Two games. And here's a, a flashpoint. Josh Dakers Cogley involved here. And Ashley Hunter. And I think there may be a couple of yellow cards coming out here. Even Graham Alexander is getting involved on the touchline. Marie has got some sorting out to do. Ashley Hunter looks like being booked. There it is. And now uh, I think Ollie Palmer is going to be trotting over to talk to the referee as well. 12 league goals this season, Ollie Palmer. Will be cautioned as well. Ashley Nadisan also in the book. So Nadisan 
Palmer and Hunter shown yellow cards in that little fracas. There's the header there that needed to be hooked away and was. Only four teams have scored more than Crawley's 44. They've shown nothing this afternoon, but Sanford need to get that away. It was a decent header in the end. And it comes. Oh, Wale. It's a really good opportunity. About the best that Crawley have had. Only winning three home games for Salford. Just one winning eight. Only four victories at the Peninsula Stadium all season. A struggle to break teams down here. That's a delicious looking ball though. And Hunter's in there. That would have been a lovely goal. Jack Baldwin. What a delivery that is. Ashley Hunter does really well, he just can't find the finish. He wanted it back, it goes to Bruno Andrade instead, who finds a teammate. This is another good opportunity for Salford. Ray Conway. Conway again has made a really good impact. Easily turned away by Tanikov. Scored his first of the season against Scunthorpe. That's a bad delivery as well. It's good tenacious play. So Rhys Gregor Cox delivers one for Crawley. That's a poor control by Jack Powell. And now Salford can come away with it again. And Scott Wiseman has had a good game down that right hand side. He's got support in the area. Elliot wants it, and there's Conway, and it's a really good save by Glenn Morris again. Greg Conway coming on to this at speed. There is still time for one of these two sides to nick it. Thomas Asante has to cut in on that right boot and has forced another save. Morris again. Salford have done absolutely everything but score. They really do struggle at the Peninsula Stadium. Can they find something? Thomas Asante has won a free kick. Crawley are just clinging on for dear life at the moment. Conway takes it. Plenty of men in the area. And Morris gathers. Time is ticking. And Crawley Town have held on. And Graham Alexander is not a happy man. He's remonstrated with the fourth official. But the reality is that Salford struggle at home. They have drawn a blank again at the Peninsula Stadium, despite having umpteen efforts on goal. They're unbeaten in five, that is the consolation, but home wins are proving elusive. Crawley have kept a rare clean sheet. No win in 13 for them on the road, but they have secured a precious goalless draw. Nil-nil.